Since the start of Yellowstone, we have been devotedly following all of the romantic pairings. However, Teeter and Colby, another well-known Yellowstone couple, haven't gotten nearly as much focus on the program. We absolutely need to hear more love stories like the one in which these two ranch laborers fell in love in the bunkhouse. So now in this video, we're going to talk about how Teeter and Colby are the couple we need more of in Yellowstone. First off, what do we like the most about these two. The moment Teeter arrived at Yellowstone was one of the highlights of season 3. She puts in a lot of effort and can easily compete with the other ranch hands. She stands out because of her pink hair, but she also has a unique personality thanks to her hard to understand Texas accent. It was thrilling for us to see that Jennifer Landon has been upgraded to a recurring character for the upcoming fourth season because she has made this minor character into somebody remarkable. When it's a Teeter episode, it always feels special. The fact that Colby and Teeter don't have a conventional love story may be their best quality. Instead of a boy chasing a girl, a girl is hilariously chasing a boy. Teeter is instantly attracted to Colby when she arrives at the ranch and begins to tease and flirt with him, which is enthusiastically encouraged by the other bunkhouse lads. The others' constant attempts to coerce Colby into participating in as many tasks at once become a running joke. We love these kind of romances that make the story far from predictable. Despite having to wait till the finale of the season, the relationship undoubtedly feels earned, yet it occasionally injects some humor into the otherwise serious storylines. In a show where nearly every single love story is built on tragedy, Colby gradually adjusts his mind and begins to see something beautiful in Teeter. So how did their story progress over the show? All of us have seen that Teeter hasn't been shy about trying to get Colby's attention and Colby just goes about his business. However, what actually happens is that when someone is around you, even if you aren't necessarily drawn to them, you still value them. And when you go through that terrible ordeal together, it instinctually brings people around each other together in an entirely different way. Colby and Teeter have experienced this, particularly when they are exchanging this kiss, when Teeter's face is being stapled together and part of it is hanging off. The devastating attack the two underwent in season three was followed by the kiss we're talking about. When Colby agreed to go river skinny dip swimming with Teeter, Wade Morrow and his son's horses trampled them as soon as they entered the water. Wade Morrow is a rival of John Dutton. Until we saw Colby desperately looking for Teeter in the darkness in the following episode and discovering her with a terrible facial injury, we were unaware if they had survived or not. As he takes charge of a now vulnerable Teeter and initiates kissing her, rather than waiting for her to initiate the kiss, we get to glimpse a new side of both characters. We actually didn't see much of this pair in season four, after their crazy adventure in season three. They were primarily employed for a few additional laughs from time to time, amongst all of the usual Dutton family drama. Reddit users made it plain they wouldn't tolerate that when it appeared that Teeter would have to start leaving the ranch. And happily, neither did Rip. After all, she has a brand, which makes her a lifelong family member. Finally, was their relationship inevitable right from the start? The California-born Landon admitted that she knew Teeter would become interested in Colby before she ever saw that part of the screenplay. When the magazine asked her what she believed attracted her character to him, the actor said she can really ruffle his feathers. Landon also acknowledges her character wanting to break some of Colby's many rules in a Yellowstone YouTube trailer. In a series where most romances are, like Beth and Rips, anchored more in sadness than laughter, Teeter's incessant ribbing and taunting of her paramour is unquestionably a component of what makes their connection stand out. Despite the will-they-won't-they they attraction of their relationship, which borders on a sitcom, Landon reveals that there is more to the pair's interaction than verbal sparring and feather ruffling, an unseen link that neither would discuss. According to Landon, a significant component of Teeter and Colby's relationship is the fact that both of them have grounds to feel alienated from their their surroundings. The actor also observes that Teeter, who is assured and skilled, is unaffected by Colby's repeated rejections of him, since he believes she has given her co-worker a fantastic opportunity, and it would be foolish for him to pass it up. We, the devoted fans, who have seen Colby and Teeter transform from rivals to the best couple in Yellowstone, won't be surprised by the better part of Landon's observations. And now for some other news. First, let's look at the scoop about Yellowstone's season 5. 
life. Yellowstone's fourth season came to an emotional close. It was just a matter of time until it was discovered Garrett orchestrated the fierce militia attack that John, Casey, and Beth survived. When Beth realized Jamie's biological father was responsible for the assault, she was resolved to exact revenge via the lawyer. She didn't kill Jamie as she had promised, but she did force him into a difficult situation. But what's next for the Dutton family? We're eager to start the announced fifth season. In particular, actor Jefferson White will reprise his role as Jimmy Herdstrom, and artist Catherine Kelly will play Emily, the head veterinary technician in the main cast. Viewers of Yellowstone will recall Jimmy's tearful farewell before returning to the 6666 ranch with his fiance. Jefferson seems to be sticking around for a while, contrary to rumors that he wouldn't appear in the show anymore because he would be the main character of the spin-off 6666. However, there's still more. In the first moment since 2020, Jackie Weaver and Kylie Rogers will both return to the big screen. Kyle Red Silverstein will also make an appearance. The biggest news, though, is that young John Dutton will be played by actor Josh Lucas for the first time since 2019. Next up, we have the stars of The Sandman, hinting at a possible Netflix adaptation of Reality Through Fantasy. Get ready to enter a realm of reality via fiction, as Gwendolyn Christie puts it in reference to The Sandman on Netflix. The actors gave a description of their personas, including some playful, brotherly banter and surprising details. While Holbrook referred to the Corinthian as the greatest fear in the dreaming realm and the patron deity of serial killers in the world of the living, Park mocked Desire as dream and death's sluttier, more malevolent twin. Morpheus, who governs our dreams, is mistakenly imprisoned for a century in the Sandman, and he then has to restore order to the devastation his absence has produced. He visits some of the most thrilling, unusual, strange, and astonishing worlds and universes during the course of the voyage that follows. In addition, he has to repair the dreaming and handle the problems brought on by the nightmares and visions that have departed. Coleman put it succinctly when asked what they were most eager for viewers to see. All of it. The standard was, however, raised by Oswald. Episode 6, The Sound of Her Wings, will astound viewers, both familiar with and unfamiliar with the comic. He further claimed that it was one of the best series he's ever seen. Finally, Benjamin Hollingsworth discusses Brady's dropping his guard around Bree in Virgin River. Brady still has a lot of problems, but he closes Virgin River Season 4 in a far better position than where it began. After all, he is now a free man. Vince, not him, is believed to have attempted to kill Jack, and his relationship with Bree appears to be going well. Even though Brady and Jack haven't spoken, and a love triangle is unavoidable, given Mike and Bree's connection in the novels, things could be harder, right? That's where Melissa steps in, seizing Calvin's business and compelling Brady to participate actively in the sale of drugs. Season 5 will surpass all previous seasons in scale and quality. We have never seen anything like what the producers are doing on the Virgin River. Brady will be featured in a major episode that should be a lot of fun. Since it appears that Bree and Mike are getting closer and closer, we anticipate some conflict between Mike and Brady. Now that Brady has been cleared, there may be some type of reconciliation between the two of them, but we'll have to wait and see. That's a wrap for this video. What do you think about the couple? Are you hoping for more of them in Yellowstone? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.